want to say thank you to everybody for being a part of this. Uh, you know, we've got some some unprecedented times right now, but I think we're all figuring out a way to uh, navigate through these. Uh, it's, it's It's been great in some ways because I've become a lot more uh, knowledgeable with my computer skills. Uh, being able to scan my documents now and send them out from the house instead of always having to print everything out. And uh, it, it's been it, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but our, our team has really responded well. Uh, we have our Zoom group call, our Zoom group meetings, uh, our video conferences two or three times a week just to check in. Uh, somebody on my staff, we're in contact with every single one of our players every single day. Um, you know, I've gotten great reports about how well they've been doing in the classroom a a academically with everything now online and. Uh, a, a majority of them at home. So it's going well here and we're just going to continue to plug along. And we told our kids, you can either be the team that, that uses this as an excuse to why we weren't able to get better, or we can be the team that goes out there and you're trying to be as creative as you can, uh, working on your ball handling, your passing. Uh, you know, if you don't have a hoop in your yard or your backyard, it's going to be a little tough working on your shooting since you're taking the rims down. Uh, but you can still do a lot to work on your game. Coach, uh, talk about your beard. What's going on with that? Oh, you know what? We, we are not going to shave here until this virus is over. At least that's my thoughts right now. Although uh, it's the first time, I've, obviously, it's ever been to this length. And uh, it, it's, it's a little annoying after a while. So we, uh, we'll uh, see how far it can go. Have you ever done this before? No. First time. Now, you know, my uh, wife likes a little scruff, but uh, she's kind of getting tired of this, I think. Uh, I was going to say, a higher power may get involved, huh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Very well could. Thanks. Glad you're well. Thank you, buddy. Coach Lowe, this is Polly with Cardinal Couple. How are you, sir? Polly, I'm doing great. How, how, how are you doing? I am also not shaving, Coach, so things are going well. How, how's that yard going? Is, is it lo lo looking nice? I need a mulch guy. I understand you may have some contacts. Hey, I, I do. I, I can get you some good scoops of mulch. Uh, I've got my front finished already. Uh, my brother, was he allowed me to borrow a friend's trailer of his, so I go out and get two scoops in the morning, come back, mulch everything, and now, now I've got to do the back uh, tomorrow. And I would promise to stay six feet away from me while you did all the work, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not doing the work, but I, I'll swing by and, and, and drop the trailer off in front of your house. You can unload it. Then I'll come back and pick it up. Yeah, I'll get back with you on that one. Uh, Coach, a question for you about the players. How many were able to make it back home? How many stayed in Louisville? And just a general report on how are they doing? Well, they're, 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 they're all doing great. I mean, their spirits are in, are in a good place. Norika made it back home, uh, which we were excited for her because, you know, she had some off-season knee surgery that went extremely well. Uh, she says she feels better. Her rehab is going well. Uh, you know, we're, we're excited for that. And then we have three or four, I, I believe, that are still here on campus. They're, they're in their apartments, per se. Um, you know, they all have their own own living area, their own bathroom. So they're doing a very good job um, of making sure they're following our, our governor's rules and social distancing and try, trying to make sure that they're doing everything that they're supposed to do. So we, we still do have a few of them here on campus, but everybody's doing doing well. And most importantly, they're they they they've been doing very, very well in the classroom. And that's that's something that had me a little concerned. You know, when everybody's kind of dispersing in their own way to, to, to try to keep that con continuity. But Chris May and uh, Adrian Johnson, who really work with our academics and, and women's basketball, they've both done uh, a fantastic job. Jeff, this is Ken Spencer with WHAS 11. Um, the news that you got, I think, was it last week or whatever, that Dana would, would be coming back for a senior year. I mean, in, in, a, in a time of the last three weeks, there hasn't been a lot of good news. How, how nice was that for you to hear? No, it's great news. You know, we're really excited for, uh, you know, and, and we and we would have supported her. I, I told her when she first talked to me about it, uh, you know, we're going to support you in whatever d decision you decide to make. 
you know, I'm not one of those that I'm, I'm twisting their arm to have to do something that's going to benefit me. I wanted to do something that, that was best for her. And her and her family sat down and talked about it. And then obviously with what's taking place right now with, you know, the NBA season still on hold, they're delaying the WNBA season, you know, really not sure what's going to happen. I think there was a little bit too much uncertainty for her to, to, to make that jump right now. And then, you know, I, I contact with a lot of the league, uh, a lot of the teams in the league, and, you know, they, they, they're very high on her. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I think she'll, she'll benefit from one more year of college basketball. And then I think her draft status will, will even go up higher. Jeff, this is Gary Graves from the AT. Hey, Gary. Uh, with all these changes that you've had to make, uh, you know, for safety reasons and, and everything, um, how many, I mean, how much of this do you see kind of continuing going forward when you get to see someone face to face in terms of how you, you know, communicate with people, maybe how you do things? Well, it, it's really going to be interesting because, you know, with uh, N- N- Norika, you know, when, when she came over for her official visit with her family, you know, in Japan, you don't shake hands. You, you, you bow to each other. You know, so I'm really interested to see once we're able to get back into a social setting of how many things might change. You know, will you possibly just nod instead of shaking hands? Um, but, you know, I, I'm just hoping everybody will continue to do what our governor is asking them asking us to do here in the state. I think he's done a a, a remarkable job. I've been very impressed with how he's handled everything. And, uh, you know, so, so we can get back out there and everybody can get back out to working and, you know, get our economy back going and just for the health and safety of of everyone. And then, you know, our, our kids are, they're, they're biting at the bit. I mean, they're really excited to get back out on the court, but at the same time, I, I really think this is going to end up being possibly a good thing for a lot of them to be able to save their bodies. It's given them a chance to rest because normally as soon as the season's over, you give them one week and you're right back at it. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that, that it's actually going to be a benefit to them physically. As, yeah, as a follow-up, is- has it allowed you to maybe do take care of some details in terms of how – you run run the program as opposed to other years where you were just going from like an off season to doing stuff with the national team. Well, you know what it's a lot. It's it, it, that's difficult. Now, I mean, it really hasn't allowed me to do to do anything like that. For the fact is, you know, we my, my staff's fantastic. I'm very fortunate to have have a wonderful staff and been able to hire great people that that are self motivated. So it's not something where we have a weekly, I mean, a daily meeting on, you know, a video conference to make sure that everybody's working. We just exchange text messages back and forth. But you're not able to really get into a bunch of, hey, we're going to change things, which we're not going to. Uh, The one thing I think it has shown me and I think it's shown a lot of people is that, you know, you you can get a lot done at home. You know, you can get a lot of work done sitting at home. Uh, and we, we've been very, very efficient with what we've been doing. And I'm really pleased with that. So, you know, we're just going to continue to grind and, uh, you know, see if we can't keep, keep this momentum going. Jeff, this is Ken Taylor from Wave TV. What, what have you been doing other than mulching and some basketball stuff? I mean, are you in charge of any of the homeschooling going on? Well, you know what? I started off as the teacher then then i moved to the principal uh, then i actually put myself as a superintendent for about three days and then my kids asked me if i would just be in charge of the lunchroom so right now i i, I am in charge of making the lunch each day uh, my wife's she's she's done a fantastic job with our girls um, and I'm telling you, we're very fortunate. We go to our, 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 our Savior Lutheran, a little uh, Lutheran school here in Hirschborn, and I'm just so impressed with their teachers and their administration. And our girls, and you're talking a kindergarten and preschool, are 
getting their work each day, the night before, and uh, going through it. And it's really been great. When, when, when my four-year-old is having Zoom meetings with her preschool class, you know, it really speaks volumes to me. And those, those are some meetings, I promise you, if you've never had the opportunity to be a part of one or watch one, you can learn a lot from four-year-olds. Jeff, my Jeff coach, Cameron, from Cardinal Authority here. here. Um, you've got a number of newcomers coming in. What's the communication with them like? Are they being treated like the, the current players on the roster, or how are you handling, you know, communication with the new guys, new girls? Yeah, same thing. We we we've been having Zoom calls with them. Also, we've been having video conferencing with them, talking through them. Uh, you know, just making sure that that they're taking care of all their schoolwork with their high schools and and getting themselves prepared for this next step because. There's so much unknown. You know, we've talked to them about all of our summer classes are going to be online. We don't know if we're going to be able to have student athletes here on campus. Uh, so they might not be able to get back to campus until August. So, you know, there's just a lot of unknown that we talk to them about. Don't be that one that's just waiting and waiting and waiting until something happens, because that could be August. So we're trying to help them, you know, put a plan together in place with what they're doing with their schoolwork and how they're going to plan out their next few months. Jeff, first Jeff, this is Ken Spencer with WHAS 11. Oh, you dirty dog. This is John. Aaron from WDRB. Oh, yes, sir. John, couldn't get John to dial in. Busy guy these days. Just wondering, uh, obviously, when minutes open up, people step into roles differently. Dan did a terrific job this year. If you had to pick one or two players that maybe is ready to take that leap, given the fact that there are some minutes to take next year, is there anyone in mind? Well, I'm really excited about our ones that, that sat out this past year. Kiana Smith really had a really good year for us on our scout team, really looked good. She's extremely talented. Uh not, not, Naya Green is in the best shape. She was in the best shape of her life. I actually just FaceTimed with her last night. She said she had just got finished working out down there in Dallas. And then Romani Parker. Those three are three talented, very talented players that I'm excited to see what they're going to do when they make that step uh, in, in to, onto the court for us when we start playing here in no November. Jeff Kent Spencer with WHAS 11. You know, for your for your seniors that graduated, it's a, it's a talented class, but, you know, for them, maybe more of an unknown than anything else with their future. What is your advice to them as, as they leave? Well, it was, you know, when we found out first off that the NCAA tournament had been canceled, it, it, it was devastating. Um, you know, we actually had to laugh about it at times because if you didn't laugh, then, then we cried. Um, but we had talked about how fortunate we were compared to your spring sports where we actually did get the opportunity to play 32 games. We finished at 28 and four ranked sixth in the country and we got cheated out of possibly six games. But at the end of the day, I, I told him to just make sure you look back and look at the moments that we shared. Uh, don't, don't have this be the year that all you talk about is we didn't get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. You know, talk about all the great moments that, that you experienced with each other and the excitement and, and the fun we had. And then I told him, I said, you know, there's so much uncertainty right now with what's going on. You've got all four of them, uh, four of the five want the opportunity to hopefully play professionally. And I said, you know, again, this is where you want to be out training and out get ahead of people. You know, the ones that are sitting at home waiting to find out. You know, is there going to be a WNBA season? Is there going to be a season in Europe uh, for, for, uh, for the women? Don't wait. You be the ones out there working now. So if it comes to fruition and it happens, then boom, you're ahead of everybody else. So they're right now finishing up their schoolwork, though, uh, you know, to make sure they're all set to graduate and just take that next step. There's just a lot more uncertainty right now than any other graduating class that we've ever had, obviously. Jeff, Fred Calgill from WLKY again. I, I lost the feed for a second, so you may have been asked this question. A lot of the coaches have been doing this from their offices. How much time have you spent in your office and at home? And could you give us, could you turn the computer and give us a look at your office and the digs that you've been living in the last three or four weeks? Hey, I am sitting here at home. 
I, I have not been to the office one bit. Uh, I got a lot of garbage all over my desk, <laughs> a nice plant, which it's still green because it's fake. Um, you know, and that and that that's about it. We got it has been my home right right here. Um, it's been a part of the my, as I said, L- Lucy, my four year old. This is where she'll have her conference call with her classes. Um, it, it's been fun. I mean, it's neat. But you don't realize it sometimes as a coach. But like in the mornings when my daughters are going, so Daddy, you're not going to work today. I'm like, no, I don't have to, and they get so excited. Aww. You know, we took a bike ride yesterday to go pick up some food that we had or- ordered out. And at night, we always, before we put the girls to bed, when they're in the bed, we ask them, you know, what's the best thing? What's the best thing you did today? And they both said, going to going for a bike ride with daddy and picking up the food. You know, it just, it, it, it melts you because sometimes you don't realize, you know, as a coach, how often you're on the road tra- traveling. And then, you know, when Lola goes, so daddy, you don't have to go on any recruiting trips this weekend. Because this was the weekend that we were going to be back out on the road recruiting. Our next weekend was. So there, there's a lot of things that you got to sometimes slow down and appreciate. That even in times of uncertainty and such confusion and uh, such d- devastation with the loss of lives that we're having, that you, you just got to figure out a way to find something that, that, that's going to make you smile. Jeff, uh, Kent Taylor again. Um your team with with the girls you mentioned who were sitting out with Dana coming back with the recruits coming in is it fair to say that this could potentially be and I mean you've obviously had some pretty good teams but your best yeah I mean we're, we're gonna be very talented uh you know I'm really looking forward to uh our see the development of Liz of Liz Dixon which is going to be really important to this ball club uh she got better and better as the year went on and I was really getting excited for her there Uh, And she was excited for this spring and summer. And then Olivia Cochran is going to be, you know, we're going to need her to come in and, and, and really give us some significant minutes as a freshman in in that post. So I I think we're, we're going to be very, very talented at the guard spot. And I can see us going a lot of four guards at times, but we're going to have to find some consistency in that post because we did lose a lot with Kylie and, and Bianca. Coach Pauly was hurt a couple. I wanted to answer a quick question. Have you been in any contact with any other coaches? Uh, you, you know, from some of my friends at Coach, yeah. You know, we're all talking about, you know, what we're all doing and what we're trying to do. Um, and then I've been in con- contact with, you know, obviously a lot of our coaches here. Uh, we just had a compliance meeting today uh, on, on, um, on, on video conference. So we're, we're, we're all staying in contact with each other. Jeff, Michael McCammon from Cardinal Authority again. Kind of on that similar note, and this is obviously a compliment to your continued success, but there's reports out of Starkville that Mississippi State's kind of targeting you. Um, have they reached out to you? Do you have any thoughts on, on I guess, their those, flirtation potentially with you? Those are all talks again. It's the same thing that took place all, all last year, you know. Like I keep telling our kids, if we lose, no, no one would ever put our name in anything. So it's just a compliment to what we've been doing here as a program and what our players are able to do on the basketball court. Hey, Jeff, Rick Bosich at WDRB. Um, I've read of coaches who've been trying Pilates, foreign languages, learning to play guitar. Is there anything that you've tried to do during this period, something new that you've learned? <laughs> you know, no. we've I've <laughs> Pilates, I just... I'm uh, I'm afraid I'd hurt myself. Uh, no, we we have not. We've just been. I mean, we have gone on so many walks and bike rides, and it, it's really been a, a great time for us as a family. Uh, the The only bad part is, you know, I was looking forward to having my two oldest come up over their spring break from down there in Charleston. That I'm, unfortunately it's spring break for them this week, but they are I, I obviously aren't able to make that trip. Uh, but besides that, we've just been spending a ton of time with the family. I've been working in the yard, which is something I enjoy doing, and uh, just getting things hopefully ready for when we're able to get out to be able to j- enjoy it and not have to worry about anything here at the house. And, and one other thing, we we know 
of, of the uncertainty that we don't know when the games are going to start. And there's talk about whether or not football will be back and, and what kind of a financial hit that would be for programs across the country. Have there been any discussions at all about uh, budget cutbacks or, or things that you guys will have to do to, to, to make more with less? Well, I think that's something that, 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 that everybody's aware of, but I think we're still waiting to hear back, you know, hear from, from Vince and our senior administration on, on what direction we're all going to have to go. Um, and you'd have, have to be foolish to not think that there was some uh, financial impact on all universities, not, not just at the athletic department. So, you know, we, we've got a great group of coaches here that, you know, all cheer for each other. So it's, it's something that I'm sure is, it, it's going to come, and we're just going to have to work through it when it does. Anything else for Coach? I sure appreciate it. Appreciate it, everybody. Uh, you guys have been great to be on, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll do this every few weeks, Nick, and keep everybody updated. Sounds good. I appreciate you, Coach. I appreciate everybody for uh, tuning in. Thanks, Jeff.